understanding the culture and how i mean i think you know as a foreigner that comes in and sees some of those you know some of those things you know we don't you know we don't understand you know all of the different the different nuances about living in mexico but you know for you guys you take it for granted because you've grown up with it so i think helping to people get to understand that and, and, and know what you know what's happening when you get somebody from the city and somebody from the country in the same room together <laughs> well you know uh, we do have certain regions like for example up in the north we call them norteños right right okay. and so you know just... you know we we actually go to excoret and they do a whole this whole big um uh, well, I don't know what the to show. Do. The yeah. show, and they show from every state in Mexico that it has its unique culture, its unique food, its unique dance. It's just such an amazing performance there. It opened my eyes to just how diverse Mexico really is. Right. Right. I mean, as a foreigner that you know doesn't really know much about Mexico, you think that it's just like you know it's all the same, right? Well, it's, you you don't realize it, but Mexico is such a big country. We also have individual states, and each state almost feels like it's a different country in its own. It does, but as a foreigner, we don't know that. Right. We don't. We come down here. We don't understand that. I like to say is like you guys take it for granted because you've grown up with it and you really understand it. But as somebody coming from somewhere else, we come in and we do see them once we get down here. But we really don't know about them because nobody tells us about them until we got here. Right. And when we went to Excoret and they did that big performance, which maybe we could even show some clips of it. Right. It was so amazing how so many of the different cultures down here and the, from the, each state had once again their own food, right. their own dance, their own styles, their own music. It was just like, oh my God, it's just such a neat blend of culture that, you know, that all comes together. And then sometimes when those cultures cross over, right, and then you get like these foods, these, um, what do they call them, the, the fusions right. of these foods that come from these, all the just, oh, the food down here, obviously, you guys, you know, <laughs> the food is just, I was 50 pounds lighter when I arrived. And you know what, actually, um, that show uh, has won an award this year or something like that. I, I will Did it really? It and, yeah. Oh, deserves it. I mean, it was I'm competing not, against some of the shows, like uh, some of the shows. I can watch that show every time I go. It's like, you know, it's like watching, like, you sometimes you only want to watch a movie one time. Right. I could watch that I, every time I could watch that movie over and over again because it is just so amazing. And they start actually with the history of Mexico, right. which me personally, I believe that people need to really understand the history of where Mexico started. I mean, even going back before it got colonized. I mean, there's right. there's so much interesting culture here. There's so much history here. There, there's so many things that the Mexican people have to be proud of. There's so many things that they've overcome and have, have gone through that to really, once you understand it, you're like, wow, this is just an amazing place to be. So, but I'm a huge fan of Mexico and I hope that we get to go spend some more time talking about some of these actual individual things that help really just highlight some of the beauty and some of the cultural differences of Mexico. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for watching our video. If you're planning on buying real estate in the Rosary Beach area, make sure to give us a call. Have a great day, everybody.